welcome back to my channel, The Baking Diva. It's so good to see everyone and a big thank you to all my new subscribers. I appreciate each and every one of you. I truly do. Well, we're coming into what I call pumpkin pie spice and everything nice season. And uh, what I plan to do, probably starting next week, is I'm going to do a little series on pumpkin spice and everything nice. And I'm going to do my fall baking series. So if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, go down and hit that red subscribe and push the little bell next to it twice because you're going to see some uh, yummy recipes. Well, today... Besides it being pumpkin spice and everything nice season, we've all, all been going through like, what, six months of this pandemic? And a lot of us have been at home. And what do you do when you're at home? Well, I know one of the things you do is you eat too much, right? I know. And add me to the club. I've been eating a little too much too. So today I decided to make you a keto recipe. So you can have your cake and eat it too. This is keto, it's low carb, and best of all, they're muffins that you make in a blender. Now I don't have a blender, but I do have my Ninja. So I'm gonna get started on these keto blender muffins. Now I'm making them today with some pecans and cranberries in them, but the basic recipe is the same. You could put any add-ins in it you want. You want to put a little of the um, low-carb chocolate chip bits in there, um, different kind of nuts, I mean, whatever your little heart desires. So, what do you say we get started? First thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 325 degrees. Then you're going to need a muffin pan. Now, the muffin pan, because of the consistency of this batter, they say to either put parchment cupcake papers in there or silicone. I didn't have either. So what I did, and I'm keeping my fingers crossed it's going to come out, I put regular paper cupcake liners in there and I sprayed them with Pam. So hopefully that will do the trick. So let's get started. I preheated my oven. I took care of lining my cupcake, uh, my muffin tin. Now in here, first of all, I'm going to put in my Ninja four eggs. So I have them in here. Let's get them in, four eggs. I'm going to also add to that a half a cup of sour cream. So let me scoop that right in. There are many of you that aren't on keto, but you're on low carb for, you know, hit the spot for both. And now I'm gonna add to this some vanilla, a teaspoon of vanilla. Mmm. All right, now I'm gonna put my top on this. Um, they, all right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blend this in here. I'm gonna pulse it for, let me see what it says here, about 30 seconds, so. Here we go. I love my Ninja. I would prefer my Ninja over a blender anytime, and I've had this a long time. That looks pretty good to me. All right, so let me open this baby up. Oh yeah. That's combined nicely. So what I'm going to do to this is um, I'm going to add almond flour. And how much almond flour do we need? Three cups. So this here is a two cup measuring cup. So let me put that in nicely. And then I have my other cup in here. So that's my three cups of almond flour. I'm going to add to that my sweetener. Now this calls for a half a cup of Swerve sweetener. So I have that here. 
Whoa, it's getting high. <laughs> oh, Lord. And what else? Let's see. We're going to add some cinnamon. We need a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Put that in there. And I'm going to also add some salt. Quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Okay. So let me get this thing back on. Whoopsie, turn it around. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Put this on. Okay. Now, what does it tell us to do? Let's see. Blend again until smooth. About mm, 30 seconds to a minute. And it tells you that if your batter is overly thick, you can add maybe a quarter of a cup to a half a cup of water to it. So let me get mixing. I'm gonna mix this and then I'll be back when it's all done so I don't leave you hanging. Easier making your muffins in a blender or a ninja. Take a peek at this and see if it's a nice consistency or if I have to add a little water to it. I think it looks pretty good. Yeah, I do. I think it's a really good consistency. And this blender did wonders on it, so I don't think I need to add water to this. Doesn't look like it to me. No. I'm gonna say no. I had my water ready in case I needed it, but no, I don't think I need it. So what are we gonna add next? Now here's the part where you can put in any add-ins you want. Now this particular recipe calls for a cup of cranberries now. You know the diva always has a story. The stores are out of everything, come on now. I looked for fresh cranberries, nada. I looked for frozen cranberries, nope. I ended up luckily finding some dried cranberries, which I'm gonna to use today. But my first choice would have been the fresh cranberries or the frozen, so whatever you could find. And I'm also gonna to add to this a half a cup of chopped pecans. Now, you don't have to add the cranberries and you don't have to add the pecans. Like I said, you can add chocolate chips to this um, or any other add-ins you want. I'm gonna leave that part up to you, but the basic batter is the same. So let me take this um, out of here, my blade, scrape the batter off it because we don't wanna lose any of that yumminess, no. Okay, all righty, put that over here. Oh, this looks fine. Yeah, look at this. I don't think this needs to any water added to it at all. So now by hand, I'm gonna fold in my cranberries and my chopped pecans. So here's my chopped pecans. Let me put them in. And if you want, you can um, leave a few to put on the top. And I'm gonna do the same thing with my cranberries. I'm gonna add them in, but I'm gonna leave a little bit to put on the top before I put them in the oven. So take your spoon. Where did I put my spoon? Diva, it's right in front of me. <laughs> and I'm gonna fold these in. The oh, this looks good. The cranberries and the pecans. Oh, look at this. It's gonna be delicious and so easy to make. I'm gonna divide the mixture into the prepared muffin cups and I'm gonna bake them for about 25 to 30 minutes. I want them to just be golden brown and just a little firm to the touch. Mm, mm, mm. Let me move this over and get my muffin tin out. Now, this recipe does yield 12 muffins. So, it's a very thick batter. I'm gonna put it in here. 
My hands are clean. Get the muffin tins filled up. Get the muffin wells filled up here. This is so easy to do. What could be easier? Blender keto muffins. Oh my goodness. Yummy in the tummy. <laughs> okay. You see why I kept a few of the cranberries and the pecans? I'm going to put them on the top. It'll just make them look nicer when they're baked. All right. So let me finish filling up these wells. And I'm going to put them in the oven for the 25 to 30 minutes. And I'll be back after I take them out and they cool off. And we are going to do a taste testing. So don't go away. Look at these muffins. Oh my goodness. I just took them out of the oven. They're still a little bit warm. Um, the recipe yields 12. And I'm going to do a taste testing. Um, I have 10 of them on my little foil platter here. Oh look, it's right next to my new candle, which is pumpkin popcorn. <laughs> Salted pumpkin popcorn. So stay with me while I do a taste testing on these babies. Uh, sorry for the bell in the background. My parrot is in the other room. And of course she's decided to ring her bell just while I'm filming. So anyway, um, these look absolutely delicious. Like I mentioned to you, they're a basic batter and then you can put any add-ins you want. Today I have the pecans and the cranberries. So, I'm going to taste one of these babies, but before I do, I just want to remind you that starting next week will be my Pumpkin Spice and Everything Nice series. It'll be my fall baking series, so there's going to be both regular recipes and low carbon keto, so you won't want to miss them. So smash that red subscribe button down below and the little bell next to it. If you hit it twice, it says all. And then you won't miss any videos um, that I have coming up. So right now, enough blah, blah, blah. I'm going to taste this. Oh, look at this. See? I sprayed my muffin papers with a little Pam. And they're peeling right off these muffins perfectly. So you don't need parchment muffin liners or silicone. Look at these. Ooh. And by doing them in the blender, they usually come out. Nice and fluffy. So let me see. Mmm. 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 Mmm, mmm, mmm. These are good. Really good. To make these in a blender? Mmm. With hardly any cleanup? It tastes this good? And they're low carb and keto? Oh my. They're delicious. You've got to try these. I think next time I'm gonna put the low carb mini chocolate chips in there. You can put any kind of fruit you want. You can make them with blueberries or whatever. Um, oh, I definitely give these a two thumbs up. They're not real sweet at all. I would say if you want them sweeter, you can add a little bit more swerve, but honestly, I wouldn't. I think they're perfect. These are gonna be gone in a heartbeat. So anyway, thank you all for watching. Give these uh, Keto Blender muffins a try. I think you're really gonna enjoy them. And um, have a great week. Love you all, and I'll see you all very soon. Toodles!